got all the fronts and the sides and those stones done. All right, today's the first day of the Bay Week. Probably the last update on the haunt. I got these torsos out. I'm, I've decided what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna throw down a couple of contra uh, contractor bags outside in front of some like two graves. I'll probably have like three or four graves that look like they're fresh though. But I'm gonna, I got some topsoil. I'm gonna throw those down and have these kind of just like sticking up out of the dirt, like just some shallow graves, like they're kind of, you know, submerged in the dirt, like coming out and looking nasty. And just some miscellaneous bones over there to mix in with these. I have a, another bucky head that I think goes with that torso. And I'm gonna stain it up and make it look good. And search around in here for a couple more skulls. Just that they're out there. Just little shit now. Um, I've tested pretty much all the lighting, all the floodlights last night. With fog, it was a little too windy for the fog last night, but I got uh, the new fog machine, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and yeah, what I was saying is we we tested all the regular lights, the floodlights yesterday. The only thing that we haven't tested lighting-wise is the the um, the candles that are in front of all the graves, and I will probably do that on Wednesday night. And Wednesday and Thursday now I'll probably film a lot of the graveyard and get like a full length edited video out of just the graveyard looking good and everything. Um, but other than that, there's the new fogger. Um, it's the cheapest 1500 watt fogger I could find. So after Halloween I'll give a review on it and all that good shit. But I just realized I went outside and it's been like snowing and raining and shit and I left my fucking like, $300 uh, impact driver out there. But it seems to be okay. It doesn't seem to be broken or anything. So I dried it off and shit. But here's the back side of the candy shoot I made. I need to pull it up under the covering so that it doesn't get wet or anything. Because it's like, I don't know if you can tell right now, but there's like, it's like icing out right now. And raining and it's really cold and shitty out. There was a lot of fake blood on top of this um, barrel, and it was just like cheap, shitty fake blood, and it's like running down the driveway. <laughs> so I gotta bring that in. And I painted it with like, um, like acrylic paint on the front, so I don't want that to wash off. So I'm gonna pull it under here real quick. That's how you know I'm not faking about the snow. That's like straight ice right there. <laughs> People on Facebook with their Halloween decorations like under like fucking multiple inches of snow but yeah I'll show you the front side because like, there's like great stuff and uh, like toxic waste shit dripping out where the candy comes out and once it's not you know freezing dick out here I will put them up put them together and it'll look better but I gotta get all the pumpkins in and mark them up Try them first, then mark them up. Probably get to carving those pretty soon. There's a little uh, fog rig I made right there. Um, it's just like that irrigation piping and shit. And I just drilled a bunch of holes in it. And it's like kind of on the ground, like hitting the grass, so it kind of sticks to the grass. Because I was going to make a chiller this year, but um, I was going to start working on it this week. With this trash can right here I just got, but I think it's just going to be too cold for that effect to work. Um, but I'm going to save that for um, future shit. Whenever it won't be freezing cold. <laughs> if I'm ever in a place doing a hunt where it's not freezing cold. But the Reaper's holding up. That's the waterproof one. All the lights seem to be working good. Yeah, it's fucking cold. I'm going inside. I mean really that cold. I told myself that I wouldn't start a fire though until after Halloween because I feel like it's way too early to be starting a fire but I am going to turn the heater on. Okay so I don't think I've talked much about this but um, I'm, I have a, an ad running on Facebook right now that's basically saying you know um, pre-order some candy bags $8 on Venmo um, and write down a name per $8 that you send me through Venmo 
and I'm making like prepackaged candy bags for people and um, this I'm probably gonna have to end up getting more this week I'm just anticipating more people hitting me up because it's been right like more people have just been buying them but um, I got these bags at the dollar store they're nice little candy bags they're decent quality but I got full-size candy bars, I got a bunch of mixed candy, it's going in there, I don't have any bullshit candy, it's going to be all good, nice chocolate stuff, um, and the reason I'm doing this is because, one, the main reason is I want people to come and look at my cemetery and look at it and stuff, but two, also just because, um, I think it's a good alternative to kids going door to door and risk getting sick as, you know, it's getting colder outside and cases are rising again, so. Yeah, and I'm not really making much profit off of this. I'm just doing it just as kind of like a reason to get people to come look at my shit. But I was just wondering if anybody else was doing that. It's just a small little thing I'm doing. I'm still going to give out like regular um, candy too with that candy shoot that I made, which I will show you later, but yeah, that's why I have these, and I'm still buying candy. I actually have to go check on my uh, Haunt Venmo account right now and see if anybody else has bought any, because the cutoff day is Thursday at like five, so yeah. Started for real snowing, not just sleeting. <laughs> snow on the graveyard. We had snow last Halloween, like right around Halloween, but it was at night and you couldn't really see it. So I'm gonna get a couple of pics. But yeah, it's, it's really snowing out here. <laughs> it's really snowing out here at the graveyard. <laughs> to um, get one of the snow machines and have it snowing on my graveyard, but I think this is as close as I'm gonna get without having to buy an expensive ass snow machine from Froggies or Global, so. Had to get some picks, had to get some picks. I'm hoping that we can get a little more snow to stick on him, because I think that'd be a pretty dope shot to get. Yeah, so for sure no fog chiller. <laughs> nah, but, um, I was looking at the forecast for Friday and Saturday, and it's looking like it's only going to be, in, it's going to be like in the 40s to 60s on both those days with no rain or anything, so it's not going to be like this, but I think this is the earliest I've ever seen snow in Missouri. Last year we actually did get some snow like on Halloween, but it was in the middle of the night and it was shitty. I don't know if I've said that already, but and it wasn't it wasn't like this. It was just like ice, little ice hitting. I could hear it tapping the windows and stuff. But hopefully this goes. I'm about to look at like the weather radar and hopefully we can actually get some like build up on the graveyard and shit because I would like to get you know some cool shots of. Snow going crazy. Alright, I got 10 pumpkins that I gotta mark up and get ready to carve. Snow's pretty much melted. There's still a little bit on the lawn though, but once it's completely melted, I'm gonna take these guys out and lay down the dirt and stuff. But for now, while that shit melts, because I'm hoping that everything melts by the end of the day, and it looks like it's melting pretty good out there, so... I'm gonna work on the pumpkins now. A couple of them are wet and icy still, but I just gotta wipe them off. And I also have to put this crypt scent into that fogger 
and the rest of the juice because I forgot to put it in the juice and mix it before I put it in the machine. So hopefully I can just like pour a little bit into the machine and then like shake the machine around or like put a stick in there and stir it around in the machine because I think that would be easier than just pouring the juice that's in there out, mixing it and then pouring it back in because that thing has a pretty big tank on it. It's more, it's like more than half a gallon in that machine. So it just sounds like it'd be a whole shitty deal if I had to do all that. So. That's what I got planned today. I also got some uh, cool shots of everything. I think this one's just so bumpy and fucked up that I just, I'm gonna have to freehand carve it. I think it would be too hard to try and, um, uh, like draw on it because all I have is a Sharpie. Maybe if I had um, some stencils and spray paint, I could do it like that, but I think I'm just gonna freehand it. Make it just whatever face comes out, comes out. All right, well, I've got music and all the lights running. The only thing I don't have running is the fog and all the candles in front of all the tombs. I was gonna uh, rig all that up tonight and test it, but we have rain coming and it's already starting to rain. So it's gonna be raining like all after it goes dark till who knows when, probably tomorrow morning. So I got all the jack lanterns cut. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and I got all the tombs out. I just gotta put the candles in and run fog. And I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow, regardless if it's raining or not, because tomorrow I'm gonna film the whole graveyard, like for my big edited video of it. And it look, I'm trying to get like some pretty shots of it and everything, but um, yeah, I'll show you the right side real quick. But yeah, I'm going to upload this tomorrow, which is Thursday. So, because I think that I've filmed all that I can because I'm just going to be, you know, making sure everything is working everything for the next couple of days because on Friday is when people are going to come and start viewing it and shit, so. Yeah, I'll show you the tombs over there and the pumpkins and you've pretty much seen everything else and the windows are going too, so. I And there's music going, but the music will also be in the video, like the edited video, so. I'll go show you this over here. I put a, those torsos out and it's pretty much everything I've changed and I've added all the candles to that side, so yeah. Yeah, and I've also like added this skeleton, latex skeleton guy up to this tree and you can't see him very well, but he lights up whenever it starts lightning and everything, so. There's people driving by, it's slow already and shit, so. <laughs> I guess, where those people just live over there. Now they're just driving by slow, creeping on me while I'm trying to video this shit. But yeah, he lights up and you can see him whenever the lightning hits and he's just kind of like a sacrificed dead guy. So, yeah. Now I'll show you the other side over there. There's one of the torsos right there and he's got an arm kind of laying out and there's dirt laying down. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's one of the torsos and the other one's over here. And here's this other one laying in front of this tombstone. It actually looks pretty badass. It actually looks like a rotting full skeleton. It's just kind of in the grass and just looking spooky. And then there's the rest. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but there's also more tombs back there and shit. And the shadows look really good on the fence and everything. And I moved him over. And I also put this reaper right here, which I'm guessing you will not be able to see in this video, but He's right in front of this tree, and he, um, I think he just looks like a real person standing there, so I think you can't see him, like, unless you're actually in person, but I think it'll creep people out and kind of actually give them a spook, because I don't really have any jump scares out here. Um, one of my old actors is going to come by on Halloween, and she might fuck with people, but other than that, it's just kind of... I think that's just gonna really trick people though. So, yeah, that's how it is right now and all that. And I hope everybody is gonna have a good Halloween and thanks for watching the build vids. And I'll have more vids out, um, probably one or two more before Halloween and then um, a couple after Halloween. And then I gotta review that fogger and I don't know, I gotta go watch all the videos and see what all other shit I promised y'all, so. So here are some of my pumpkins. 
Um, I still gotta carve the big fat one in there, but I'm not gonna do that till tomorrow. But yeah. And there's a couple of them in the back. Can't really say that well, but they're not really that crazy. I just did them with a jigsaw or like I assembly lined these motherfuckers. So that's why they're not like epically carved and everything. So yeah. I've also uh, brought this monster mud guy in because of the rain. Because I think that he would hold up to the rain, but I don't want to take any chances. Oh yeah, and this monster mud guy, I he's switched out for that guy that was up kind of higher up on the porch. Because that one that was up on the porch is the one that I put out kind of closer to the street in that tree. And I don't think that I've shown you guys the candy shoot yet, but I will for sure get some vids of that, like in the daylight, and post them eventually, because the animated hex and the um, electric chair guy are also going to go out, but obviously it, it's raining still, so those will be in the final video of like the view. This window in the basement is where I'm running my uh, speaker wire for the music through. And there's just a sub and two speakers out there. And I have it running off this old shitty phone. Um, good tip is to, if you get a new phone and your old one's not so completely shitty that the screen can still turn on, then uh, keep them. And it's just like having a free MP3 player and you just rip the music off of YouTube and just download it onto that phone and then you don't have to worry about you know getting notifications or anything because there's no sim card in it and just turn turn it on um, just turn the wi-fi off or turn on airplane mode and you got free mp3 players just off of your old phone that's how i'm doing the music tech tip <laughs> one shitty thing is though is that um the speakers that i'm running the music through are actually like some pretty nice speakers so I do have to pull like the subwoofer and the two actual speakers back through the window every night just because I don't want them to get stolen. I've had this playing music out front for like three hours and you can't see it because it's not focusing but it is literally only on like 90% of charge so you know what I'm saying. It would, it, I could run this for like multiple nights without charging it, but I, I'm still going to charge it up every night just because, you know, if you're like me, you're always worried about, you know, shit like that going wrong, which never has for me, but I feel like my haunt not, um, of the audio and, you know, lights and shit not working right, I always have to be having like nightmares about it and shit, so, yeah. I hope everyone has a good Halloween and peace. Friends are dead. You and your friends are dead. You and your friends are dead. You and your friends are dead.